to you today from Austin, Texas. We're here in the Phosphorus offices, a very cool ad agency that has hosted us. And we are guest hosting for South by Southwest Interactive. And we are here with one of the most fascinating people here at the conference, June Cohen. She is the executive director of TED.com. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> it's so much fun to be here. It's so great to have you. June actually spoke yesterday and you've been here a number of times. Tell our audience, I mean, now that you've been here a bunch of times, you've done your talk, I mean, what has yeah. been the best part so far? Uh, well, the best part of South by Southwest is always just connecting with other people doing fascinating things in different ways than, than you are. So South by Southwest is always my chance to catch up on what other people like me are talking about and thinking about and how they're moving their product forward and what trends they're noticing. And so it's completely invaluable to me on that front. Well, let's talk about that for a minute because everybody, I mean, you know, and you know this, it'll sound biased, but it is true that everybody looks at TED or most people look at TED and they say that is the conference to be at. And then for you to say this is your conference to be at because you're really looking for what's going on, give us an example of some of the ideas that you've captured out of this conference. Sure. Well, um, you know, so a lot of the stuff that I'm thinking about is how do I move TED.com forward? So I'm thinking a lot about translation. I got to talk to a lot of other people who are working on social translation projects. Like we are, there aren't that many of us. So it's really important to have a place to gather. I'm also thinking about some of the things that other people are thinking about, things like geotargeting. How do I think about connecting our global audience on a local level? And there are so many people here doing fascinating things on that front. I'm thinking about where video is going. What technologies do I need to be looking at? I've got an earful about open technologies and how you know Ted as an industry leader needs to be setting the standards for the industry and moving toward more open formats which I totally support and I'm really thinking about I've, I've been talking about um, type online and how that's moving forward so I mean you see there are just like, yeah, like tons, I, 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 could, I could keep going but I think I should stop now but it shows you just how much it, it turns my brain on to oh. to be here well what are some of the technologies then that you've heard of I mean we've heard from a few people that have spent a few yeah. days here they're starting to hear about really neat things that are emerging what are some of the ideas that you've gotten specifically. Yeah. Okay, so um, there's a few of them. Um, one of them is with the launch of the iPad. Um, TED, as well as I think many different um, websites and content providers, are thinking much more seriously about HTML5 and specifically an HTML5 video player. So our website um, serves Flash Video, which and we love Flash Video, but it is not accessible on iPhones, iPads, other um, mobile clients, and that's a problem for us. We get 100,000 visits a month um, on the iPhone. So we um, are just working now on an HTML5 player um, that people who come in on an iPad can play. But then I've been learning a lot about um, the, the benefits of moving our whole site to be HTML5 based in open standards instead of proprietary standards. Um, learning a lot about the new video standards that we could be working with. So I mean, this is a tremendous amount of yeah. information. I mean, <laughs> in this one conversation, you can see what you can learn here at South by South. Oh, <laughs> 